now as our lecture has started for all the classes and as earlier i said that from our team work from our effort to teach the children we are not bound only to our school any student anywhere in the world can take the assistance of any lecture from any teacher and we are performing on that in that direction and i was pleased to get a email from a girl whose name is gitanjali from patna Gitanjali has written that uh, sir we are studying now in class 10 and uh, owing to oro uh, this corona everything is shut down we have but our examination will take place in february or march 2021 so we have got less time we cannot attend any class or any coaching so now we are getting nervous a type of feeling in our bowl is going on that we cannot qualify our exam and she had heard my first lecture also motivation lecture that uh, matriculation is not an iron gate it is a golden gate Uh, she is full of gratitude that uh, we are working for class 10 also in the previous lecture she was she got immense help regarding the sst and now she has given a request that sir please try to give some lectures in on english subject okay uh, gitanjali uh your parents have given you a very good name it's a very effective name and do you have some connection with the book gitanjali which was written by by whom by ravindranath tagore for which he got the nobel prize and it is a great great privilege for us that uh, people like ravindranath tagore has born and uh, gitanjali book has become immemorial in the world so of course it's a very good name and uh, i hope that uh, you study gitanjali because it has been translated in english also so please study it and i request all the students also to study gitanjali it's a very good book and of course it is not only in bangla but it has been translated in every language okay now we'll come uh to the course uh first uh, you have two books in english one is first flight and the other is supplementary book footprints without foot the name footprints without foot it gives another type of feeling footprints without feet how is it possible that you will make the footprints without the feet obviously so this is the immense suspense of this book footprints without foot there are some stories in it short stories and obviously ncert has selected very, very fantastic and very surprising stories in it short stories first you understand the story what is the main ingredient a good story must has suppose uh i'm just comparing it with rama ram sita of course sita and ram had a wedding 
they came to ayodhya everything was going fine there was no turning point obviously a lady was a character whose name was manthara she brought a turning point a dramatic point in that story obviously she put something which gave a turn to the ramayana it was a surprise element first surprise element then somehow ram and sita and lakshman had to go to exile which is known banwas for 14 years there also the turning point was surpanekha and gradually you know ravan came picked away sita and now the always after every incident you get the turn point some surprise elements in it and at last you saw that there was a great battle between ram and ravan and she ultimately came back. but if there was no turning point there was no the character of mantra there was no the character of ravan sopneka ramayan would not be written so anything in a story is important the dramatic change jisko ek bar naat ke mood jeevan mein aata hai wo yaad rehta hai suppose this corona this is the turning point of our life if there was no corona we could not understand these things so this is the turning point of, of our life our story uh, within two or three years we'll study this in history in uh, biology in science this will be a turning point when vitanjali you will grow old 70 years 80 years then you will teach you will tell these stories to your kids to your grand kids that these these things happened they will put a bright eye and listen to oh these things can also happen so stories main ingredient is the turning point which changes the story which is really a surprise element for you and that is the beauty of the story okay so now here we have some very good stories and uh, one of the stories written by guy de mopassa a french writer french writer you can understand is from france and he is one of the best story writer in the world and his story is written and translated in every language of the world obvious awful we are just surprised after reading that story and just given an immense set of oh this is the main element of a story which has put that is the surprising element and one of the story you have to read the name of that story is the necklace you know necklace yeah. okay necklace an ornament which the lady wear throughout the world now we will come to the point we'll first uh, go with the story uh, the story is set in the french background obviously guy de mopassa is a french writer so he will definitely select a background of his land is i suppose tulsidas writes uh, ramdhari siddhinkar writes he selects the background of his country so he selects that uh, but uh, in a story one is the turning point second is if the writer depicts and put some universal sense in his story then it becomes immortal universal sense you must understand that uh, oh this story is going in my neighborhood this story is going in his neighborhood this type of thing so he has given a universal sense in the story that every woman of the world thinks so oh, it is happening in my neighborhood also so we will come on that as i will explain the lesson first you know the story 
there is one lady whose name is Matlida Loisel. Matlida. Uh, she was very beautiful. She grew up. And she had a lot of dreams. So after my marriage, I must have this type of houses, this type of cloths, this type of ornaments, this type of hoods. Only thinking about uh, expensive things. Lavish lifestyle. One is simple lifestyle, one is lavish. But you must have something the rich people possess. So she always dreamt about that. But fortunately or unfortunately, she was married to a simple man, simple club, Mr. Loison. Now, obviously, she was always nagging. Oh, how I am married to this, this man. I don't get this type of food. I don't get this type of dress. This type. Of. She always start complaining to her husband. Oh, my life has been ruined. Anyway, but her husband always tried to give all the comforts to his wife, as all the husband of the world. <laughs> Somehow or anyhow, they tried to keep their wife in a pleasant mood, pleasant manner. He also did many things to please her. His wife. One day, Mr. Loisel got an invitation to a big party in which family will accompany. And in uh, European countries, they have parties, they eat, drink, and there are floors where uh, the couple dance and they call it ball dance. Okay? So, he was very excited. He came to his house and told, Okay, just see, we have got an invitation from my higher authorities to join the ball dance. So, you must be very happy. He said, Okay, I'll be, I'm not so happy. But I don't have such type of dress. I don't have my ornaments. How will I go? Somehow, to please his wife, he brought some expensive dress. She also got some dress from one of her friends. She was ready. Now, something was missing when she stood in front of mirror. She said, oh, yeah, everything is fine. I'm looking gorgeous. I'm looking gorgeous. Very beautiful. But I need some very good ornated ornaments. One necklace if I get. But his husband stood his hand, no, I cannot buy so expensive ornaments. So she developed an idea. She had, she had a friend, uh, Madame Forestier. Madame Forestier. She went and she requested, please give some good ornaments which I can wear and go to the party because uh, my husband has brought a very big uh, uh, reception card where I have to go in the ball party. Uh, see, Madam went, brought her necklace keys and one very good necklace she did. It was a diamond necklace. She brought more and she said, oh, I am the queen. Both went to the party, they just enjoyed and she was obviously looking very gorgeous, very beautiful and uh, she was uh, simply damsel, so beautiful. So everybody paid attention to her and she found it very nice, so oh, this is a grand party. They returned after the party, they came back, when she went to change her dress, all of a sudden she touched, she was shocked. Oh, my necklace! Where it is? It has been fallen. She rushed to her husband. I have lost my necklace. What should I give to Mrs. Frostier? So they went, they searched from here and there to the party, everywhere they searched. But in vain, they could not search it. Now, both were in full tension. 
should, how should I return the necklace? And she thought it's very, very, very expensive. But now it was imperative to return the necklace. So both of them decided to buy a similar necklace. They went to the market in search. They searched throughout the market. They made the similar necklace photographs and uh, ultimately they got that type of necklace. It was very expensive, 18,000 francs. They paid it and brought. Next day she went and to gave her to a friend. Again they came back. This left the house, sold the house, they went to the rented house and both of them start working because there were a lot of loans. They had to return the money. Took at least 10 years to return that money. But whole life was spoiled. Now they, she lost her whole beauty because now she was only thinking of returning the money. So both were laboring a lot. After 10-15 years, all of a sudden, when all the money was returned, she was simultaneously, she was going and simultaneously she met Ms. Madam Faustier in the market. Madam said, oh, you are looking so dull, you are very beautiful, what happened? What is the problem? She told the whole story, how I lost the manaclas, how I brought this money and uh, now I labored, my husband and I, and we returned the money. Madame Foster was looking from up and down and said, oh my dear child, that was a fake necklace, duplicate necklace. Not original diamond necklace. This made her dumb struck. Oh, what have I done to my life? I have simply spoiled my life for Positioning myself for an artificial life, for a show of life. She was dumbstruck, she returned back slowly and the story comes to an end. The revealing of Madame Faustier that that was a duplicate necklace is the most dramatic element of the story. These type of stories in the world we have very few and very surprising element. It is a fantastic element and we were, when I was studying this story really astonished us. So this is the beauty of the short stories and Vaidhi Mopasa is one of the best writer of short stories. So I request you all to get another stories also which have surprise elements and read. You can go in search and in this Google and you can get this type of story. But first you should be concerned with your syllabus only. Okay? So this is the story. First you study it and write the content of the story. And when you, write, uh, when you will write it, then after that, in the next meeting, I will give you the technique, how to find the questions and how to write it. You have to first find who is the poet, yeah, who is the writer, these things. Second, you have to find the characters. How many characters are there? There are three characters mainly. Other are not so much important, but three characters are there. Second, the most important thing, you have to find what lesson we get from this story. 
what does this story want to tell which we can call theme of the story what do you say don't go for artificial life don't go for lavish life it will simply ruin you it will simply ruin you whatever money you have try to live in that one word i am giving it for it contentment c o n t e n t m e n t contentment be content santosh rakho bahut aage ki paise ko lekar mat socho ab khana khana hai your food is enough good healthy warm food khao dekha dekhi nahi ki they eat pizza and burger they eat kfc chicken don't go for that if you have money you can enjoy it but don't imitate the life of others their life is their life your life is your life so you should be content contentment is a bliss you just write it contentment is a bliss b l i d l s santosh param sukham so this give story gives you this lesson but the surprising element is extreme the climax well it's the, the height that is extreme so you write this story in your own words please close your book and write it and one step second step is about the who are the characters what where is the plot set where is the plot set in france background so you go with it okay now you have got it what the story uh, um, a student of uh, our system also and gitanjali i think you have got everything now you write and whatever problem you have you take it so i will discuss one stories daily because of course you all have few time to prepare for your exams and uh, i'm trying to give my best to all of you students regarding your all the subjects and whatever problem you have you can email us and tell your st- friends also to come in connect with us and wherever she finds or he finds best they must be connected because time is limited and you have to live okay thank you